Today you're gonna learn how to download and install the DC Scrap mod pack and I'm running away from so many zombies right now. But yeah, stay around until the end of the video to learn how to download and install this fun mod pack to play with. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to get the DC Scrap mod pack installed is to go ahead and download CurseForge. CurseForge is the mod pack launcher that is going to allow us to download this mod pack. Click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Feel free to read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along the video, just scroll down to step one and then click where it says download CurseForge here. That will redirect you over here where you're going to click the download a standalone option. Of course, you could always go back and scroll down if you want to download a different one, but usually I just download the standalone and that will begin the download for the installer of CurseForge immediately. CurseForge is completely safe to download. And you know what else is safe to use? Our sponsor, Apex Hosting. With Apex Hosting, you can create a server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, or even a DC Scraft mod pack server. Don't believe me? Just come over here using the first link in the description for 25% off. Click on get started, click Minecraft, select the server that you want i'm going to choose the most popular one click order now change the server version to dc scraft you could just search for it in here click on it select the server location add any option that you want in here then click continue make sure that everything in the cart looks good and that you got that 25 percent off by using the first link in the description and then click on checkout all you have to do now is add a little bit of info and pay for the server and that's it you have a server set up with apex hosting as you saw in the example it took less than five minutes to set up the server and yes you could play now dc scraft with friends using apex hosting let's keep going with the tutorial okay so so now we downloaded CurseForge, let's go ahead and drag and drop the installer to our desktop. You could just click here on your recent download history and drag and drop the installer to your desktop. This is the CurseForge installer and we're going to launch it by just double clicking on it. Just go ahead and double click on it and that is going to open this little window that will come up right now. As you can see, where you're going to click next, then you're going to accept the terms and conditions and then click next again and wait for CurseForge to finish installing. It should be a quick and simple process and once CurseForge finish, it's actually going to launch itself. Let's just wait for this to finish. As you can see, CurseForge is now loading and the first time that you launch CurseForge, it's not going to put you over here. It might put you over here on this screen and it might offer a little intro. You could just go ahead and skip that, then select Minecraft and then that'll bring you over here where you probably don't have any mod pack. As you can see, I do have a bunch of mod packs, but you probably don't have any. The next step to download and install the DC Scraft mod pack is to click on browse and then where it says search for Minecraft projects, we're gonna type DCs, just like so. And then we're gonna press enter and we're gonna get DC Scraft right here. All you have to do now is click install here on the top right. Mine says play because I already have it, but yours is gonna say install. You click on install, Head back to your mod packs and you will see DC Scraft installing in here. It should take around a minute or so. And then after you install DC Scraft, in order to play it, all you have to do is literally click on play on it right here on your mod packs. Now, anytime that you want to launch the mod pack, not just DC Scraft, but any mod pack using CurseForge, you're going to have to open the CurseForge launcher, okay? You're not going to be able to open DC Scraft on your regular Minecraft launcher unless you open it through the CurseForge launcher. Once you launch DC Scraft, once you click on play, then it's going to open this instance of the Minecraft launcher. And since it is the first time that you are launching it it probably will have you log in you just have to log in once and don't worry this is the official minecraft launcher it's completely safe to log in it's just a different instance because you're opening it through curseforge and as you can see as soon as you log in you have this scrap like i said you will only have to log in one time and you'll have the Seascraft in here. Now, you could also increase the RAM amount of the Seascraft. It's that is something you prefer if you head over to installations right here. You hover over the Seascraft and you click on this little three dots, then click on edit. And by the way, make sure modded is selected. If modded is not selected, you won't see it. Click on edit. Click on more options and as you can see in here you have 4096 megabytes as the maximum amount of ram that you're allowing the mod pack to have you could always change this if you want but i don't recommend you mess around with this unless you know exactly what you are doing and how much ram you have on your computer for example i know that i have 64 gigabytes of ram so i could definitely increase this number if i felt like it however i'm gonna leave it at 4 gigabytes it should be more than enough for myself but yeah just keep in mind that this is an option in here only mess with it if you know what you are doing and once you do that go ahead and click on save and now you can play the mod pack you could just cl literally click on playing here and then it might prompt you with a little sign saying you understand the risk of playing modern minecraft if you have never played modern minecraft before just click that you understand and then just wait for the mod pack to open it shouldn't take that long by the way while the mod pack is opening you could already delete the curse version installer you don't need that anymore and after a while now we have dc scraft loading it took like a minute or so just keep in mind that this is a mod pack with a lot of mods so obviously it's going to take longer than just launching regular minecraft and let's go ahead and wait for this to put us in the main menu and we are finally here we're gonna go ahead and launch a single player world however if you have a multiplayer world like for example if you create a server using the first link in the description with apex hosting you could just go ahead and hop on a multiplayer world already and you could invite your friends and stuff but we're gonna go ahead and launch a single player world and see what is happening and here we are in this is craft trying to get back to the city where i 
was last seen. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to download and install this mod pack. This is a pretty fun mod pack to play around with. And there's a lot of things that you could do in here. And I hope you really enjoyed this video and you were able to install this Seascraft mod pack. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, bye bye.